Lord, we thank you for loving us, for dying to set us free. We thank you that you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lead us, guide us, fill us again with your spirit. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. So we, um, we're we in Matthew. Can you open up your Bible, please? Yeah. We've, uh, this is our fourth try today, so we're hoping that, um, that we can overcome this and, and do good. Um, it's so much better when we can do good. Uh, so, um, so we're in, we're in the Sermon on the Mount and we're talking about, um, and we're talking about how good God is and uh, how amazing he is and how challenging Matthew 6 is. And we're in the um, model Lord's Prayer here. So we have, um, we've been talking about it for a couple days and we've had technical difficulties all these days. It makes you think, huh, maybe there is somebody trying to block us here. So we're gonna try this again. Let's pick it up in, where do you wanna pick it up? Um, I think we were just going to wrap it up. I think we did it. That's okay. good deal. Yeah. And that that really when it, it hit me as a psychological insight because I would uh, kind of previously read about a lot of work by Carl Jung, and he was about projections, yeah. and he had a theory that if only everybody would just drop their projections and see each other as they truly are, then we could really have peace and, and healthy psychological relationships. And it's been in the Bible for thousands right. of years. And then again, the heart of the man is desperately wicked, so a different... Di um, yeah, so it's Linda, not going to happen. <laughs> Linda says she's been, it's been sounding fine all along. So you got to hear me pray like three or four times already. Um, <laughs> but at our end, it was double feedbacking and uh, yeah. it's making us all crazy. So give us this day our daily bread. Um, we take bread for granted. We take food for granted. And then in the past two years, we've seen whole shelves open and empty on the um, at the grocery store. And as much as they try and cover up open spots by putting other stuff in it and stuff, mm -hmm. we could really easily imagine uh, a time where we really needed to ask God for our daily bread. So let's just get ahead of the curve here. Mm -hmm. Give us our daily bread. Next yeah. verse. Uh, let's see. And forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Okay. So forgiveness is, a, is imperative in the Christian walk. Um, we need to forgive those who have done us harm. We need to forgive. We need to forgive. We need mm -hmm. to have a heart that says the stuff of the earth is not what is consuming us, but rather God's presence is consuming us. So, mm -hmm. um, and if God's presence is consuming us, the stuff of the world just really fades. It's not, uh, he takes care of his people um, and we keep trying to tell him how to do that. And he mm -hmm. is not, he doesn't have to listen to us, tell us how, how to do it. He is God, and we are not. Bless his name. Yeah, you're, you're always in the moment. But yeah. God is very, very interested in the future. Yeah, and, and, in, the, and in the moment, and in the mm -hmm. minutest detail. I've heard people pray, oh, mm -hmm. I can't pray that because God's too busy. Well, if he's too busy <laughs> for little things, he's too busy, period, yeah. and he's not. Um, so give us this day. Forgive us. It's a interesting connection there, because... As we feed on bread, we should have thankful hearts. But as we feed on spiritual bread, the word of God, mm -hmm. it brings us to a place of seeing more and more and more about forgiveness. So how good it is that God cares about these details. Next. Oh, and uh, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Okay. So God, how does God handle free will and temptation? It's, it's your choice. You get to, in your little palace of your imagination, every scenario that you encounter, you get to say, wouldn't that feel good? Yeah. But it's it's the angel and the devil. <laughs> That's right. That's kind of what you get to do. And uh, even as a Christian, you know, you you can decide to have yourself a good time, that it's, it's a, a benefit in the short term, but in the long time. And then you get to 
feel very bad <laughs> and you get to promise that you won't do it again and the next time you go to do it and then it's different then you're the devil you, oh, I don't know this time I think I'm gonna go with this guy but and, and what you choice. and what you feed thrives and what you starve dies so if you yeah, put your brain yeah, yeah, yeah. in an environment that is going to open you to temptation mm -hmm. don't be surprised when temptation comes and if you put yourself in an environment of praise and worship and fellowship mm -hmm. and all these things, then don't be surprised if if that empowers you this moment to overcome this thing. Yeah, that's the thing with, with, with Christians, like with, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, you can move that that playing field. Yeah. Whereas before it was like, oh, I, uh, gosh, I need to get angry, I need to drink, I need to, to, to do yeah. this. And, and you... You change everything so, so much yes. that you consistently can make the better choices. That's right. So moment by moment, God can empower us. And if you think, I cannot do this, mm -hmm. I cannot resist this, mm -hmm. you're at the beginning of resisting this. Yeah. Ahead, press the button, yeah. please. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the AA, um, you have to recognize that you have a problem before you can really intervene in it. And so, okay, next line. Um, this is for yours, is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever, amen. Amen, what's the next line? I don't know, I haven't memorized. <laughs> can't find it, which one is it? Matthew 6. <laughs> okay. For the kingdom and the power and the glory is yours. What an amazing, uh, admission there that, yeah. that we do not have nearly as much power as we thought we do and now before and now we have so much more power and authority than we ever did uh, how amazing is that mm. go ahead next next line oh and 14 is, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you. Mm -hmm. And what happens from lack of forgiveness? You create a lot more trouble for yourself than <laughs> you realize right. when you don't forget things. Because just like a bank has an account, yeah. and they have to hire people to, they have to hire physical people and pay them to handle your accounts, yeah. you have to create a vast network of debt, <laughs> you know, monitoring like subroutines in your brain. Okay, but if we if we don't forgive, that does not punish the offender. <laughs> like mm -hmm. it, it 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 increases your blood pressure and all these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And you think I'm really punishing him? Oh uh, no, you're just punching yourself on the nose. Yeah. And uh, and he has no or she has no. It doesn't affect them. But it affects you not to forgive, so forgive. Yeah. And if you don't forgive, then it blocks God's... Like, overall, living in a forgiven state is so much healthier for you than not. So God says, forgive. Also, forgiveness... Lack of forgiveness um, is, is hardening of the arteries in your fellowship with God. And so... So amazing. Mm. Okay, so we've uh, we've scraped the top off the Lord's prayer, but we will continue with this tomorrow. We and if you think if you think that you know everything about the Lord's prayer, it shows how little you know. Okay. And if you think that you can just rattle off the Lord's prayer in twelve seconds or six seconds or whatever it is, then you don't know what the Lord's prayer is. So take your time, enjoy the Lord's prayer. Don't. It is a model prayer. It's not. It's not the only prayer, as we mentioned yesterday. It's not recorded in the book of Acts or any of Pauline epistles. It's not there. Mm -hmm. But it is a model prayer that we start with the worship God. And then, um, and then it leads us into these forgiveness and into thanking him for the bread and all of the things that happen and leads us and guides us. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for loving us, for dying to set us free. And thank you that you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lead us, guide us, fill us again with your spirit. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Your turn. You get final word. Um, uh, dear Lord, for thank you for a model prayer that enabled me to start praying to you directly, even <laughs> though I was very self-conscious about praying and talking to you. So for 
For new Christians, I think this is a, a very good prayer because it comes from the word of the Son of God. Mm -hmm. So you have that faith that this is the way you're supposed to do it. And when you learn more about it, it opens you up to the to the relationship that you have with God. Amen. Uh, thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' name. Blessings to you all. Amen.